Good morning folks, how are we all? Simon returning again for part 30 of Dustwood. Hope you're well and keeping safe. Lovely morning here in the UK. Well, where I'm at at the moment, I'm not going to say where I'm specifically at to be fair because... Well, I'm just not going to bother. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, I was going to say the weird things at the start of the videos. Oh, I don't know, anyway. So yeah, so part 30 of Dustwood and uh, we've got into a lot in the last part recently. We've just finished doing that part. Uh, basically, we sort of heard Hannah talking to a psychothera uh, psychotherapist, oh, psychiatrist. That's the one, Simon. We'll get there eventually. Um, about she was basically she was trying to tell her that she was being stalked, um, and there was a new name, Jennifer, um, which was sort of um, sort of brought among us. Also, there was a picture as well of a random woman, and also we. Um, I had a, well, basically Dan got back to us after his really bad crash. Um, and uh, yeah, and now we're sort of hoping to get into it. So, and obviously he had the deciding vote on us to stay in the group and he said we can stay. Anyway, so it looks like we're going to talk to Richie. Hey there, I've seen that you looked at the screenshot. Sure, we did. Yeah, we sure did. That was basically that. Yeah, that was Phil to uh, Richie. Sure. So that means that clear Phil. No, it should have. Let me just read it again, folks. Let me just read it again. Right, so I'm not going to let you tell me in my own bar, especially this one to her. Right, okay, so it seemed like. So obviously, clear. Yeah, I, I'm just going to go with that, folks, to be. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. It's a bit of an odd one, isn't it? I guess she thought that would be a way to get information out of him. I've probably said the wrong things. Probably. Uh, might have said the right thing. Crikey. Something else. Okay. Bring it out then. The things he is saying about Dustwood. Yeah. Apparently Dustwood is like, apparently has this like weird sort of mysterious man without a face or something like that i don't know and there seems to be these like sort of like marks and stuff that which richie has apparently been marked it's sort of like a mark of us like a bird or something like a crow raven sort of thing anyway um the things he's saying about this with my conversation with phil took place last evening uh today i have the sign of the raven on my shirt well uh Um, that's why you were downplaying it from front of Jesse. I suppose to, yeah. Well, I'm not saying it was fatal. Ah, but, but he is right about the stuff that he is saying. This can be very strange. Yeah, I did notice that. I've noticed all these weird sort of things happening, like I was saying, that's where it's quite sort of, um, yeah, <laughs> quite sort of. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, uh, I noticed that with all the legends and murders. Yeah, with all of your legends and murderers and all of that stuff. Yeah, literally, just as I said it. <laughs> this is like, what the hell? Yeah. Bit of a weird place to stay, really, isn't it? Considering. So. <laughs> oh dear, anyway, I don't know. Anyway, Phil wouldn't first warn me and then draw on the sign on my shop wall the next day. Or would he? Uh, no, that would be a bit too. I would be a bit too suspicious, wouldn't it, to be fair? Hmm, yeah. A bit weird, anyway. Hmm. Or 
sure he had an inkling that someone else would do it. Possibly. Possibly there is that. But on the other hand, nobody knows that we are investigating. Oh my god, my... I've got abscess in my bloody mouth. Oh, I'll do my nut. Especially about the man without a face. And there's no doubt the sign, that the sign on my shop wall belongs to him. Uh, didn't someone say that rumours spread fast in Dustwood? You can't be sure that it wasn't someone from our group that told somebody else. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, possibly. But it's very dodgy, all these weird sort of things happening at the moment, that's true. So Phil brought Hannah drinks. Oh, interesting. I do apologise, folks. That's how just... Oh, yeah, true. He did write that. I didn't know, but until now. But, okay. <laughs> Why do you think he did that? Yes. So, yes, he's acting a bit weird. I don't know who this, like, so we're going to get, probably, hopefully get to know who this fella is. Um, not say it's Jesse's brother. Um, yeah, so we'll probably find out for ourselves probably sometime in the future anyway. Uh, because he's a nice guy. Oh, I didn't mean to drag out this topic like that. You're all right. Yeah. No, it's a good thing that you tell me stuff like that. It's always good to talk, Richie. It's always good to talk, as they say. Anyway. I'm not entirely sure about that. Adios. Richie. You can talk to me anytime. Let's be Mr. Nice Guy. <laughs> anyway, folks, what I'm going to do is... Um, I was said the last part, I was going to do probably three or possibly four episodes... I'm actually going to do this one and stop there. That is because obviously I didn't realise it was going to go on for so long. Plus I've got another thing to do just before I go. So this will be the last episode for today. But I will be uploading some point today. Um, and like I said, I'm not too sure when, but I will be uploading. But anyway, keep your eyes out, folks. Keep your eyes out. Anyway, so we're going to go into the spy chat now. Oh, interesting. So it's Cleo and Thomas. Hey, Thomas. Sorry, with all the excitement that was going on, I totally forgot that you had asked about Phil. Just forget about him. Do you really think that I can simply forget those accusations? Just look how he always treated Jess, treating Jesse as a big brother. That's all it said. That's, oh, I can't get the words out. That says it all. He's an idiot, period. It was really... Really busy at Aura's and probably added to his stress. Not acceptable reasons to say stuff like that. It's mm -hmm. a bit strong, Cleo. Is there something I don't know about Hannah? Mm. Yes, I guess not. She, mm, that's interesting. She was going to. She's actually starting to write then, and then she sort of stopped. Anyway, um, I just noticed you text me. What's up? I don't remember anymore. <laughs> hmm. I see. Anyway. Oh my god, my. <laughs> I do apologise this way. <sighs> I don't know. No, see, just wanted to tell you that not to take Lee's vote to heart. No, I'll take it like a pinch of salt, even though she accused of this and that. Yeah, right, okay. Because I definitely imagine that you felt like you were being treated and family. Well, yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Somehow I can understand where she's coming from. After all, she is Hannah's sister. Yeah. That's fair enough. So, yeah, so if you folks you didn't know that uh, Lily is uh, Hannah's sister. So, uh, if you knew, you probably obviously knew by now, obviously ages ago. That's not a good reason for her behaviour. Hannah's like a sister to me too. I would say that. 
Mm, okay, that's suspicious. Huh? She has no idea about all of the things you do for us and how important you are. Uh, okay, don't you think it's strange? What's she doing? Her entire behaviour is so weird. Oh dear. I think we probably just said the wrong thing there. Anyway, <laughs> everybody handles such a terrible situation differently, Simon. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Probably said the wrong thing there, but it is what it is. And you get back news, obviously, when someone's gone missing, you know, it's like, ugh. I think that the two of you met under the wrong circumstances. I think we need really a one to one, really, um, to get some steam off. I think between maybe you should, should maybe you guys should have a little talk. Oh, that was it. Oh, it? Once some time has passed, um, yes, maybe. Thanks again, Cleo. No, oh, we give you a little kiss. <laughs> Flat of everyone's always. No, oh, we are disgusted, aren't we? We are disgusting. <laughs> okay, and then that was pretty much it. Uh, what are you up to now? She's in a rush to go somewhere. I have to go see my brother. Okay, sorry, mother. Oh, God. I can't read today. I can't read anyway. I'm just a little terrible, I know. Oh wait, uh, you don't know yet that she is running the Gate of Hope, do you? Uh, no, what is that? <laughs> Though what the Gate of Hope is, great, it sounds like some sort of religious thing. Um, I don't know, it just has that weird thing about it, I don't know. Anyway, uh, That is a group, well, a group for women, uh, they do crafts, sell baked goods, for the church, they also organise most of the events in Deswood. Okay, so, for example, they are currently putting together the forest church, right? Okay. Cool, sounds good to me. Mm. The gate was originally only meant uh, for women that belong to Deswood's church. But nowadays, they are not as strict about it anymore. Oh, you remember too? Well, obviously, of course she is. <laughs> Some mother is running it. No, I'm anything but religious. Oh, okay. <laughs> so not the religious type. Uh, no, I can't get the words out. Here and there, I help with organisational things. Or I bring over a cake, but I'm only doing it for my mother. Well, I almost lost my train of thought. <laughs> Fair days. Fair days indeed. Anyway, I'm on my way to the gate because apparently my mum has something important to tell me. <coughs> mm, what could that be? I wonder what that could be. Well, I think I'm going to end the conversation, end the video after this chat. I think we got to, we're going to leave it to it. I have no idea at all, you know. All right, she's probably going to get going now. Once time my mum ordered me to, because her favourite show was pushed back by half an hour. And uh, how you, you poor thing. Yeah, we'll just put that. We ain't gonna laugh at it anyway. Oh dear. Sometimes she just needs a little attention. It could be my mother. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I don't know. Then you, know, then you know how urgently I need to get to her now. <laughs> You're going to contact me later. You seem to be getting nicely involved here with Cleo. Call blowing me. Anyway, I don't know why it's showing me this. That's the bar aura. That is the souvenir shop. That's the black swan. And there's some random dare house. 
Ooh, and Gate of Home, that's where the organization thing is, and obviously that's Roger's garage. Anyway, so I think we are pretty much done there, and as you can sort of see, I've got to do some hacking. So, <laughs> so I'm going to leave it there, folks. And like I say, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed it so far. That's part 30 down and done. Um, I'll probably be doing another sort of episode now for a little while now. Um, so many apologies on that anyways, but uh, hopefully I'll be back soon. Not too long, but uh, we'll see anyway. So like I say, folks, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe on the channel on YouTube. We greatly appreciate it for your support. And, uh, and I shall hopefully see you soon for some more Dust Wood. But now I am done. So take care and stay safe, folks. And I shall catch you for some more Dust Wood. Bye.